Congrats, you made the team. You're a Laker. Hello, welcome to our channel. In this video, we delve into the intriguing story of Kurt Rambis, the captivating hippie Laker who left an indelible mark on the iconic Winning Time Season 2. Join us as we unravel the enigmatic persona of Kurt Rambis and explore his pivotal role in the Lakers' journey to victory. Warning, spoilers ahead, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Who is Kurt Rambis? Kurt Rambis, a name synonymous with both basketball prowess and unique style, emerged as a key figure during the enthralling Winning Time Season 2. With his signature long hair and unconventional demeanor, Rambis stood out not only as a player but as a symbol of a vibrant era. Our video provides an in-depth look into his background, his rise to prominence, and the impact he had on and off the court. The hippie Lakers' impact Rambis wasn't just another player, he represented a shift in the Lakers' culture and a departure from traditional norms. His unorthodox playing style and free-spirited attitude brought a breath of fresh air to the team, leaving an indelible mark on their journey to success. Join us as we break down how Rambus' contributions influenced the Lakers' gameplay and the team dynamics during winning time season two. Kurt Rambus' long tenure with the Los Angeles Lakers began with his first appearance in Winning Time, The Rise of the Lakers' Dynasty. In Winning Time Season 2, Episode 4, actor Joel Allen plays Rambus, the newest and supposedly hippie member of the 1981-82 Lakers team. The Lakers acquired the 6'8 power forward to help fill in some of the on-court size deficiencies caused by the Jim Jones for Mitch Kupchak transaction that was featured in Winning Time Season 2, Episode 3. Rambus would join the Lakers' front office years after his playing career ended, much like Kupchak. The fourth episode of Season 2 of Winning Time goes back to the beginning of the 1981-82 season and the struggling Lakers' problems in the locker room. The episode focuses on the height of the conflict between head coach Paul Westhead and superstar Magic Johnson, which eventually prompted Magic to ask for a trade just months after agreeing to a huge $25 million contract with the Lakers. Rambus would eventually wind up becoming an essential element of the Showtime Lakers' overall success during the 1980s and beyond. Even if his eventual impact as a member of the Lakers was barely noticeable in the most recent episode of Winning Time, Kurt Rambus played in Greece before signing with the 1981 Lakers. Kurt Rambus played basketball for the AEK Athens Basketball Club when he first turned pro. Between 1976 and 1980, he spent four seasons playing basketball at Santa Clara University, where he rose to the positions of second-leading rebounder and all-time top scorer. Rambus was chosen by the New York Knicks with the 58th overall pick in the third round of the 1980 NBA draft. Rambus, who was adamant about beginning his basketball career in his native Greece, played in the Greek league as Kyriakos Rambus and helped AEK win the Greek Cup in 1981. At the close of the 1980-81 season, the Knicks resigned Rambus after his international success, but they never played him in a game. At the beginning of the 1981-82 NBA season, Rambus finally established himself as a member of the Los Angeles Lakers. He continued to play in the NBA until 1995, primarily for the Lakers. Rambus became a Lakers coach between 1994 and 2009, alongside Phil Jackson. Rambus played a vital role for the Lakers from 1981 through 1988, participating in their NBA titles in 1982, 1985, 1987, and 1988. Fans adored Rambus for his hustle plays that displayed his blue collar, not afraid to get his hands dirty instincts. He evolved into something of a role model and spiritual mascot for the Showtime Lakers, a team famed for its flashy and fast-paced play. Rambus was the epitome of a selfless team player for the Showtime Lakers, and he significantly contributed to the group's extraordinary success at that time. Rambus played for the Charlotte Hornets, Phoenix Suns, and Sacramento Kings after his impressive time with the Lakers. Rambus returned to the Lakers as a player in the 1994 NBA season, which is when he started his coaching career. In 1995, he formally left his position as a Laker, and from that point until 1999, he worked as an assistant coach with the Lakers after Del Harris was sacked. After Harris was eventually replaced, Phil Jackson was hired, and between 2001 and 2004, Rambus served as the Lakers' assistant coach and general manager until the team won the NBA championship in 2002. Kurt and Linda Rambus were made Lakers executives in 2018 by Jeannie Buss. After Kurt Rambus temporarily served as an assistant coach and head coach for the Timberwolves and the Nets between 2009 and 2018, Lakers owner Jeannie Buss appointed him a senior basketball advisor in 2018. The Lakers executive director of special projects is Kurt's wife, Linda, who has known Jeannie Buss for a very long time. The Rambus tandem collaborates extensively on all matters pertaining to the Lakers' front office. As a participant, coach, and executive in nine NBA championships, Kurt Rambus is still regarded as one of the most significant figures ever connected to the Los Angeles Lakers. The second season of Winning Time will probably feature a portrayal of his championship run with Magic Johnson in 1982. Thank you for watching.